Hey everybody, as always, I hope you're doing well out there. Today I'm gonna to be doing a quick video to walk you through renaming an alternative time zone and some of the different things you wanna look at when you're going to rename an alternative time zone. So first, let me start by saying I'm using the Garmin Instinct Solar Watch. Doesn't matter if you're using one of the solar versions or non-solar versions of this watch, the alternative time zone is gonna work the same with all of them. I'm also using the watch as delivered from Garmin. Now, I've done a video in the past that walks you through the basics of the alternative time zone widget. In this video, I'm focusing more so on the data element on the watch face and how that correlates to the widget. So first thing let's talk about is UTC. UTC is the coordinated universal time. It has nothing to do with the alternative time zone. So if you're looking at your watch and you're thinking that that's the alternative time zone, it's not. That's a data element all on its own that really can't be adjusted. What we're talking about is an alternative time zone. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my watch face. Now I'm going through this pretty quick. I'm assuming you know how to edit the data elements on your watch face. We're gonna leave UTC. We're gonna go down here, instead of battery, we're gonna choose USA-A, and it looks like it's a different time. That's our alternative time zone. So that's great. It's 1.20 p.m. where I am, and USA-A is 11.20. Well, where is it getting that information from, and how do we adjust that so that the time zone we're seeing is the time zone we want to see. You notice that when we chose it, we didn't have any options. In order to do that, we need to go download the alternative time zone widget because the widget is going to control your data element. So let's go on into widgets. You'll notice if I press up and down, there's no widgets installed. So we're gonna press and hold the menu button. We're gonna to go to settings. We're gonna to go to widgets and we're gonna add a widget. The one we're looking for is a globe with a clock alternative time zones. I've added the widget. Now, when we go to the widget, look what we're seeing. US Arizona, 1121. That's the same thing we're seeing on our watch face. So the data element is pulling that information from the widget. Now, if we wanna change that, we can press GPS when we're on the widget and we can choose the given time zone that we want to change. Now we can either rename the zone, maybe you do like Arizona, but you don't like the way it's displayed, you can rename it, or we can change the zone completely. I'm gonna show you rename here in a second. Let's change it though. I wanna add the time zone for Sri Lanka. So what I would need to know is A, if it's in this list, I can select it. If it's not in the list, which it's not, I need to know what value over or below the UTC it is, so I add the appropriate time. I'm looking for plus 530, which is Bombay's time zone. So if I add Bombay, I know that's the same time as Sri Lanka because they're both in the same time zone. So I'm gonna add Bombay. The first thing it asks is do I wanna rename it? In this case, I do. I'm gonna press yes, and then I can use this widget wheel to erase it and I can type in what I want. So I'm gonna do Sri Oops, I just did the wrong value. So let's see, let me find the backspace. Sorry, I wish I could do this a little bit quicker. Looks pretty good. And once we're done, I can press the back button. I can save my changes. Now I've successfully added Sri Lanka. I can press back and back and look at my watch face uh, data element. Now it's showing Sri Lanka and it's showing the correct time. I can go into the widget and I can add another time zone. So I'm gonna just, just for kick's sake, I'm gonna add, um, let's add Hawaii. I don't wanna rename this one. You'll notice though in the widget, Hawaii is showing and Sri Lanka is still in there. With regards to the data element, whichever 
time zone is first in your widget is going to be what's displayed in your data element. So even though I added Hawaii, I can see it in the widget, Sri Lanka and Hawaii, but on my watch face, it's always gonna be the very first one that's listed in the widget. I hope that makes sense. That just gives a little bit of a summary of how the data element for the alternative time zone correlates to the widget for the alternative time zone, as well as how to rename it so that it displays differently on your watch face. As always, I hope this video isn't too complicated. If you've got questions, post them in the comments. Be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.